Built into most browsers is an interpreter of a language called ECMAScript, E-C-M-A. There are different dialects of ECMAScript, each of which has its own extensions. In the Mozilla, Firefox, and Conqueror web browsers, and in Adobe Acrobat, the language is known as JavaScript, and that's the most popular name. ECMAScript is known as JavaScript almost everywhere now. Internet Explorer calls its version JScript. Macromedia calls the Flash version ActionScript. The Opera web browser can handle the extensions of both JavaScript and JScript. The names Java and JavaScript have nothing in common except their names. They're nothing alike. People get them confused, but they are distinctly different things. Now, you can include some ECMAScript in an HTML file, so you can include it in a JSP file in exactly the same way. Here is a JSP file that does just that. This is a JSP page, but it doesn't contain any Java code. You don't need it for JavaScript, so I left it out to keep things as simple as possible. Here are a couple of ECMAScript functions that are defined in the head section of the page. These are the ECMAScript functions that are used elsewhere in the page. You can enhance this with the Java code of a JSP page if you needed to. Remember, everything is converted first to Java and then output again as the page of HTML. So you can mix in Java code just wherever you need. The body of this page is a simple form that allows entry into a text field. The ECMAScript functions check to make sure the incoming characters are all digits. The validation is done by the form tag calling the validate integer function whenever the field is input for the form. And here's how it looks. Here is the data entry field if you enter data that is not all digits, a message pops up and explains the situation. There, the X in that string was caught and the error was displayed. On the other hand, if you enter all digits, there, the field has been validated. Anything that you can do in an HTML file, you can do in a JSP file. For example, you could put the JavaScript functions in a separate file and deploy it elsewhere in the WAR file.